All right, so by request, people wanted to see a full day of eating video. Now, I kind of want to show you this because the way I eat, it's not really that special. Um, it's pretty basic, honestly. A lot of people are under the impression that they, they're not seeing tremendous gains because their diet just isn't quite right. They need 15 more grams of protein or 200 calories less or 100 grams of carbs more and then their body's going to explode into fucking Mr. Olympia. Well, guess what? That's not how it works. Remember that the, the most important aspect of your results from training, of course, is your genetics. But then the other one, it's your training. Okay? It's not your diet. Diet plays a role, a good role. But it's not the thing to blame when it comes to your lack of results. Okay? So I don't look the way I do because of my diet, okay? D does it play a role? Sure, you know, I'm getting adequate calories, I'm getting adequate protein, but it's pretty basic. I don't have, uh, you know, a very special diet. So I'm just gonna show you what I generally like to eat. Um, we're gonna start with breakfast, okay? What is it? 10.40 in the morning. Um, you know, I wake up around seven and um, I don't eat for the first few hours, so I guess my it's not really a breakfast, but I guess it's the first meal of the day. So what I'm doing here is the thing I like to eat, I like to eat, you know, russet potatoes and eggs. And I just kind of mix them all together. So that's what um, I'm making now. So, you know, I get the russet potatoes, I boil them, a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil is extremely good for you. I mean, obviously that vegetable oil, seed oils, you know, they're not gonna kill you unless you're eating them in excess, but why not just use olive oil? So I use olive oil, and what I like to do is kind of boil the russet potatoes first. They're like little miniature ones, and I'm just kind of making, I guess, home fries out of them, all right? So it's just potatoes and eggs. Um, and I cut them up a little bit. They're hot as shit, so you gotta be careful. Boop. Get a little retaining wall for them. Yeah, so I just boil, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, like seven, I guess. My dog thinks he's getting some. Chop them up. It's funny because my first job, I was a dishwasher at my friend's diner, and I was always on potato duty. So we had to, you know, they boiled And the, the reason I learned how to make them like this is, you know, honestly, from working at my friend's diner when I was a teenager. And what they used to do is put them in this giant potato boiler thing. And then you let them cool down, but I'm not letting them cool down. And then we would chop them like this. And then for every order of home fries, you would just throw these boiled chopped potatoes on the flat top. I have a poor excuse for a flat top, but what I like to do is just throw them in a pan with oil. And then what I'm gonna do is throw all the eggs in with it. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Let me turn this guy over here. All right, we got everything. Yeah, so I'll just show you. Just a bunch of potatoes. Boil them first. Olive oil in the pan. And then of course, I've got one, two, three, four, five eggs. I'm gonna be training today at probably noon. So, whoa, this is gonna get real hot. So that's why I'm eating this now. I like to have a full meal before training. Some people like to train fasted. I find if I have a full meal beforehand, my workout is much better. Here, let me, let me make sure everything is in frame here. All right, and then what I do, 
I like the seasoning. You get the seasoning at Trader Joe's. It's called Sofrito, Italian style seasoning. I like to throw this in with everything. And we're just gonna fry them up. Brown these suckers up a little bit. And then when they're ready, throw the eggs in with them. And that's it. How many calories is this? Okay, let's see. We got, what, is it 70, 70 calories per egg? So we got 350 calories in eggs. Potatoes, I don't know, the potatoes are probably another four or five. So we're looking at, I mean, the, the breakfast is probably around 800 to 1,000 calories with the oil and all that. But of course, you know, that, that works for me. I wouldn't say, you know, eat 1,000 calorie breakfast <laughs> if you're not 220 pounds and still relatively lean like I am. I'm probably like, I don't know, 14% body fat. Not shredded, but you can still see, but you can still see abs. So five eggs, seven small potatoes. How many calories? I don't know. Protein wise, let's see, what do we got? Uh, was it six, seven grams of protein per egg, I believe? So we're looking at 30, 35 grams of protein, which is fine. And then for lunch, I'm gonna have another 50, 60 grams of protein, which I'll show you. And again, it's just like, I'm not measuring the protein, I'm just eating protein for every meal. And it turns out, if you eat a decent uh, serving of protein for every meal, it's very easy to reach your protein requirement. I mean, you know, I mean, some eggs in the morning, maybe some beef or chicken in the afternoon, and then beef or chicken at night, it's, you know, you're gonna get 50, 40, 50, 60 grams of protein per meal. You know, if I'm getting 50 or 60, or probably 60 per each meal, that's 120 plus 35, you know, I'm at 150 just in the, uh, you know, the, the protein sources, the eggs and the chicken. And of course there's protein in potatoes, there's protein in rice. So you're getting adequate protein. You know, I'm shooting just, uh, I guess for over 150 a day, wherever that may land me. Um, well, I'm just not too worried about it, you know. Sure, if you're a hard, you know, if you're a hard gainer, you want to concentrate a little more, but I'm just showing you guys what I do. You know, what's your diet look like? Well, I just eat carbs and protein, you know. And another important thing is, you know, I, I cook all, most of my own food. You know, if you're, if you're doing your own cooking, you kind of know what you're getting in. You know, if you go to, a lot of people ask me, you know, um, is it okay if I eat Chipotle? Well, yeah, it's fine, but you don't really know what you're getting. You don't know how much chicken's in there. You really don't know how much rice is in there. But when you make your own stuff, you do know. All right? So, that's it. It's done. <laughs> Doesn't really take long. These are small plates. Uh, now i got to get one of my large plates because this is a relatively large meal and sometimes for some extra calories you could throw some cheese on it I'm not going to do that today and this is what it looks like a bunch of protein bunch of eggs now you guys probably want to see what's in my fridge and I'll show you Gatorade iced coffee this is my favorite coffee stoked or whatever you know i noticed uh in florida since it's hot as hell warm coffee doesn't really go well so what else i got eggs cheese farmer's dog dog food for ace some jelly because my favorite snack is peanut butter and jelly butter 
Carrots and peppers. Uh, another thing I like to make is um, pasta salad with chicken in it. And then yesterday I got a pizza because it was football. It was football day. It's in here. Nothing. Oh, shoot. There's another farmer's dog in here. Huh. It's got his name on it. Yeah, and then what do I got in the freezer? In the freezer, I got Angus patties and a bunch of dog food. <laughs> Farmer's dog. I'll show you what I got in here. It's got like an automatic light. Um, I got bread. It's Wonder Bread because we just went through a hurricane and uh, there's no wheat bread for some reason. Bunch of peanut butter, tons of peanut butter, because like I said, my snack is usually peanut butter and jelly. Um, got some like rice, rotini for pasta salad. That's actually not the rotini I use. I use the colorful one. Um, yeah, the spices here. I like to use the Four River stuff. Whoop. All kinds of different spices for chicken I try. So, dropping everything. So, you know, I eat a lot of chicken. You guys probably eat a lot of chicken. And the best way to kind of mix up your chicken is try different spices. Four Rivers is good. This is good. This I tried, which is also pretty good. Oh, uh, what else? Montreal chicken, I know there's like a garlic and herb. But, oh, yeah, that's the one that fell that stuff. So if you get bored of chicken, just try a variety of spices or seasonings. Um, and they're pretty good. But yeah, I mean, I, this is all just nonsense bullshit that I don't even eat, honestly. It's, it's actually hurricane food in case we get hit with a hurricane, it's there. So that's the first meal usually. Some eggs, potatoes, and um, see you guys for lunch and show you what I eat. Here's my second meal, very typical. It's generally an entire bag of this 90 second Target brand rice. I think this is the best. The Target brand is the best. Cilantro lime is pretty much the only one I eat. It's good. And then um, I got two big old chicken breasts um, that I bake. And season with the four river four rivers seasoning and this is a very typical meal this is probably I mean it's a lot of protein it's probably 80 to 100 grams honestly and then in terms of carbs this whole bag has about 500 calories and 95 grams of carbs but again you know don't copy the way I eat <laughs> you know I'm a big guy um, my meals are gonna look a lot different than an individual who is trying to lose weight or lose body fat. Um, uh, the diet is going to be based on you. Okay. So uh, I don't suggest replicating how I eat thinking it's going to, you know, give you the best gains. This is, this is what works for me. Okay. If you want help dialing in your diet, you have to join my coaching. There's a link in the description for that. And then we'll figure all this out together. But this is a very typical meal. I, I honestly don't stray too far away from this <laughs> basic thing. Um, for dinner, I'm probably going to have rice again and steak. So I picked up a steak. But if you guys want to try a really good seasoning for chicken, basically what I do is just put it in a pan with some olive oil, season it, and bake it. Comes out really good, comes out moist, and um, the Four Rivers stuff makes it better. I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble sticking to a diet because it gets boring, but honestly, you could you could eat chicken every single day and season it differently. And you can also stick with this rice and just pick a different flavor of rice. They make like eight to ten different flavors. So this is my typical midday meal, and then um, my last meal of the day is going to be something similar, just probably with steak. All right? So I'm going to dig in. And I'll see you at my next meal. All right, guys, this is the last meal of the day of my kind of typical full day of eating. 
Last meal of the day, of course, is going to have a protein source. Tonight I went with steak. Um, sometimes, you know, ground beef, very occasionally turkey, um, or maybe just, you know, chicken again. Um, but a lot of the times it's, it's just, again, it's multiple meals of a protein source and a carb source. Honestly, the same rice. Um, the thing is when it comes to, when it comes to eating, I'm just not, I just don't care. You know, I more so eat the same thing every day. Um, because I just don't really care about food that much. It doesn't excite me. Sure, occasionally, you know, enjoy different things like that. But I've just been kind of eating this way for 10 years. Just quick, easy carb source, relatively easy protein source, grilled steak, seasoned it with four rivers, whatever. But that's kind of a typical day of eating. From breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, no snacks in between, uh, but generally definitely have a snack at night. It's usually, believe it or not, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's kind of like my before bed snack. And that would really be the entire day of eating. So we got eggs and potatoes in the morning, chicken. That was about a pound of chicken <laughs> and definitely ate the whole thing. Um, it was, yeah, it was about a pound of chicken. And then this steak is about 0.9 pounds, just under a pound. And then protein again. So um that's it nothing fancy nothing special pretty simple pretty easy took me a total of probably 10 minutes to make this meal and i've been kind of eating this way forever um so yeah there you have it if you can kind of replicate this kind of eating schedule it's going to be convenient it's going to be easy um if you make it well relatively tasty and you're going to get adequate protein and everything you need but again, don't replicate exactly how I eat because you're not me. People are going to have different requirements in terms of calorie intake, protein, things like that. If you want help with this, dialing this in, click the link in the description. In my coaching program, I will design a diet for you based on what's more or less close to your current eating habits so that way you can stick to it. I'm not a believer really in giving someone this diet guide that is completely different than the way they eat because it's very difficult to stick to. But I found a lot of success with my clients kind of monitoring their current eating habits and making slight adjustments over time in the right direction, increasing protein or either increasing or decreasing calories based on your goals. So if you want me to help you directly and guide you through that, click the link in the description, join my coaching. But there you have it. It's pretty boring. I know. You didn't probably really see anything too unique or interesting, but that's, this is how I eat. This is how I've been eating for a long time, and that's it. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, bell, notification icon so you'll be notified when I drop more science-based fitness information to help you get in the best shape of your life with as little time spent in the gym as possible. Now I'm going to eat this. See you later.